What's up guys, Chris here with Cryo Effects and welcome to the Cryo Effects YouTube channel. And today's shop video, is we're in our shop, is on how does a CO2 jet work? So we did another video that's on the channel, link in the description or I'll pop it somewhere on the screen here. How does a CO2 cannon work? This video is how does a CO2 jet work? Now, these are all called CO2 jets or what people call as CO2 cannons. Cryo jet, CO2 jet, cryo gun, cryo cannon. You get the point. They all fall under this umbrella of cryogenic special effects. So you're asking, how does a CO2 jet work? What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover today, CO2 jet, CO2 jet. Yeah, you're probably wondering what that one is. And of course, some CO2 jets and how they work. Again, the other video, how does a CO2 cannon work? This was a handheld CO2 cannon. Link in the description for that. So. Let's get these out of the way here so I can clear up some space. Now, how does a CO2 jet work? At the inside of a CO2 jet, we'll start with this one. This is the DMX-512 CO2 jet from Cryo Effects. Inside, all these bells and whistles is just this little valve right here. That little guy. CO2 valve, liquid CO2 solenoid valve to be exact. And, or a cryogenic valve which is what this all is, cryogenics. So this valve, powers the inside of this, if you will. Doesn't really power it, but you get the point. The CO2 flows through this, this turns on and off. That's what makes a CO2 go out or stop going out. You get the point. Now, this also has DMX capabilities. It has power con capabilities. I'm not here to tell you about those. I'm here to tell you how this works. So you start with your tank. The tank has the liquid CO2 and it's a dip tube tank, which means picture a straw in a soda cup. When the straw's in the soda cup and you squeeze the soda cup, liquid comes out the straw. Same thing here. The straw goes all the way down or the dip tube or adductor tube goes all the way down. When you take the straw to the soda cup and you squeeze the top, well, no liquid comes out because the air at the top is gonna come out first. Same concept with these tanks. So yes, that's a rudimentary concept, but I hope that you get that. But that's not what we're talking about here. So it starts with the tank. Red around this tank means customer owned tank. Now. This tank is liquid CO2. A ductor tube goes all the way down. So when I turn this valve on, liquid CO2 would come out. You would have your hose. Your hose connects to the tank. You wanna make sure that you use one of these washers. The washer resides in between this CO2 fitting and your tank. The reason being is brass on brass, probably not gonna be a clean connection. Because of that, you're gonna get a leak. People will over tighten this fitting to try to compensate for that, which will end up breaking the fitting. Simply just use one of these washers. It's simple. Washer here goes in between, bridges that gap. So your CO2 flows through that hose, connects to one of these jets. So we'll talk about these in a minute. Inside, what ends up happening, and again, how does a CO2 jet work inside? This is how. The CO2 will flow to the valve. The valve is shut. When the valve gets actuated by some electric current, regardless of what it is, this coil pulls the piston up, allows the CO2 to flow through the valve and out the other side. And when it flows out the other side, it's coming out the nozzle. Nozzle, nozzle, nozzles, nozzles. Okay, Chris, get it. I get it. You get the point. That's basically how it works. The only other bells and whistles with these are what they can do. So the difference between this CO2 jet and this CO2 jet internally, same valve is inside both of these. The only difference is this one is a stationary CO2 jet and you can manually move the nozzle back and forth from side to side, wherever you wanna put it. It allows for DMX, it allows for rudimentary DMX switching and of course you have your power cons on the other side. Now, what's the difference between this? Because internally they're the same, right? That's correct, but this one is called our XY jet. The reason being is the DMX controls it left and right on one axis and then up and down or side to side on another axis. It looks like R2D2, yes, I already know. Leave a comment in the description. Hit the like button if that's a good analogy, right? Right? <laughs> so that's basically how they work. Then you have your CO2 cannon. These are CO2 cannons. The difference between these, you have your basic and your plus. This one has a digital DMX on it. Again, inside, the same thing is inside. You have your valve. It's just a different valve. That's it. The valve is on the inside of this. You have your nozzle 
Where's the nozzle? Nozzle connects to one of the sides like this. I'm doing all these maneuvers over here. So nozzle connects like this. You got your quick disconnect on the other side. Same thing. This valve is what turns on and off and allows the CO2 to flow in and out. So when there's a problem with it and you have a leaking CO2 valve or a liquid CO2 valve leak or something like that, yes, it's the valve leaking, the jet, the casing, the body. All that does is provide a nice case, provide aesthetically pleasing look for it, and allow you to do different things. Connect five pin or three pin DMX, connect the power cons, turn on and off. Maybe you wanna use it DMX or you wanna use it with uh, power on and off. And of course, the DMX setting. This one's digital. This one, you can't see it here. Let's turn this around. This one is a rudimentary dip switch. That is the only difference between all of these right here. That's it, simple. And of course, didn't want to leave you hanging. So showing some live footage of CO2 jets in action. Here's one set up on stage for an event in San Diego. Here are the green circles are the CO2 jets. Red arrows are the CO2 lines. And of course, green circle and green arrows are CO2 jets along the front stage. Here's CO2 jets in action. And of course, more CO2 jets in action. And then last but not least, the stage view of some CO2 jets and what they look like. And of course, here's some confetti, CO2 jets, and a ton and ton of CO2 jets in action, ready, and there you go. More CO2 jets live, and this is how a CO2 jet works. Back to the video. So if you want to know more information about how a CO2 jet works, leave a comment below. Of course, subscribe to the channel. We do do some free giveaways in the community channel, and only those that are subscribed that hit the notification bells will be the first to be notified about that. Other than that, we'll answer your questions. That's it for this video. This was a super quick overview of how does a CO2 jet work. So if you're looking at these CO2 jets, maybe you see a CO2 cannon in Ibiza or Ibiza, whatever you call it, or CO2 cannon that DJs use. Maybe you have a CO2 jet DMX. We talked about that here. And of course, a CO2 jet machine. Don't want to forget about that because these are machines. That was covered on this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.